All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Super Sets. Uh, I'm just going to run through this, so you'll have to excuse any uh, outtakes. We're just doing this on one take, so we're going to flow right through, make this nice, short, and sweet. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you what we'll do first, and then you can pause the video, do your three sets, move on to the next. So as many of you may know, uh, if you've done any of my other classes, um, even when I, I produce another format, I try not to make too big of changes because uh, I like that you guys can, some of you are familiar with the moves and I want to keep those familiar movements, but we at the same time want to uh, mix it up, keep it fresh, keep you excited about doing the workout. So when I do a different format, you'll notice I just kind of move things around a little bit. I do add in some new things here and there um, just to kind of change it up, but nothing too crazy. So without any further delay, we're going to carry on. Uh, I have a bench here and uh, an exercise ball. I will kind of demonstrate on both and just kind of show you um, how you can get through it. If you don't have a bench or a ball, you can do most of this stuff just flat on the ground. You just have to kind of do the best you can. Um, however, if you have anything that might resemble some sort of a bench, I know before I had this bench, I was using a toy chest um, because I was able to lay down on it as a bench and still get a workout. So whatever you got to use. So. We're gonna get right into it. So for our first one, we're gonna get right into chest and biceps. And what we're gonna start off with is the incline chest press. So you just wanna make sure your waist is below your chest and we're gonna push the weight straight up for 12. You're just pressing that weight up. You're gonna get your 12. Once you got your 12, you're gonna drop down and we're gonna go for incline bicep curls, make sure you get that full stretch. Go till your arms are straight, curl that right back up, and that's going to be for 16 each arm. So 12 on the chest press, 16 on the bicep curl, and you're going to do that three times through. All right, once you get done with that, in between. Uh, different movements in between different supersets. You can shake out your arms, your legs, just kind of keep your blood flowing, right? Get a little break, get some water in between. Uh, other than that, we're just going to keep moving right along. So once you get done with that first one, we're going to go into the chest pullover. Uh, some of you might recognize this. It's very similar to the line pullover. Uh, the difference is on this one, we're going to use both hands and keep our hands close together, which puts more of the emphasis on your chest rather than if you're doing single arm, you can really target your lat muscle. Both arms together in, you switch it and you get more of your chest. So if you have a bench or a ball, you're gonna wanna get to where your shoulder blades are on either the bench or the ball. Two hands, keep your arms straight, you're going back, coming right back up. And you're gonna do this for 12. Okay, so you're going to get 12 of the chest pullovers, and then guess what we get to do after that? One of my favorites. We get to do the 21s. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come up halfway and back down for 7. Once you get your 7, then you're going to start from the top and come down halfway and back up for 7. Then once you get those 7, you're going to finish 7 full range. 21 total, three times through. Have some fun with it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Final chest and bicep. We are going to do the flat bench chest press with concentration curls. So if you have the ball, it's the same thing as what I've been demonstrated. You want to get your shoulders onto the ball, but this time your waist is going to be up, so you're going to engage your core, and that way you're flat. Okay, if you're on a bench, it's easy because you're laying flat. So, if you don't have either a bench or a ball, just lay flat on the ground, bring your elbows to the ground, and press that weight right back up. So, we're going to do chest press for 12. Once you get your 12, we're going to go into concentration curls. So, you can either do those, if you have your bench, 
You can get right here, put the back of your elbow just above the ball of the elbow. So the ball of the elbow doesn't have to be in your thigh, just above it, right into your inner thigh here. And you're gonna curl that weight up. Concentration curl. 16 each arm. So get 16, switch, 16 more. You can sit on the medicine ball and do them. Or if you don't have either, you just get down right here, put your arm in the back of your, or to your inner thigh, and you can, same thing. You're just stabilizing with your legs now. A little more muscle engagement. You'll burn more calories this way, huh? Same thing, 16 each arm. All right. Next, we're going to move on to back and tries. So, now if you have your bench, we're, first we're going to start with a single arm row. So if you have a bench, you can get down right here like this. You want to try to keep your shoulder blades parallel, and you're just going to pull that weight straight up for 12. Then you'll switch, get 12 with the other arm. Again, if you're not using a bench, you can take a staggered stance like this, and same thing. You're just going to pull that weight straight up. Right? Get 12, both arms. Then we're going to go to the tricep kickback. One of my favorites. In this one, you can either hinge at the waist, elbows up, and kick that weight back for 16 each arm, right? Or you, if you got your bench, you get down on your bench, do your kickback, same thing, 16, switch, get 16 with the other arm. All right, moving along. Next, we're going to go into the deadlift. So, for this, you can do a sumo stance, or you can go more hip width or shoulder width apart, whatever your preference is. Just make sure you, uh, you just got to make sure you sit back into it, keep your back straight, and get 12, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, back straight, right back up. But you're pulling that weight up. You're not pushing the ground away from you with your legs. You're pulling the weight up with your, with your back muscles. Right? Not using your lower back. Getting 12. Once you've got your 12, we are going to go into the overhead extension. And this is going to be one arm. I'm a little bit tall, so you can't really see. So... I'm going to go down to my knees. Do, you'll do these standing though. Arm up. And you're going to go back. Bring that weight straight up. And we're going to get 16 of those. 16 each arm. Get 16 on one arm. Switch. Get them with the other arm. Three times through. Woo! We're cruising. Halfway through. Have some fun with it, huh? All right. So, final back and tries. We're going to do the bent over row. So, we're going to hinge at the waist, shoulder blades retracted, and you're going to pull the weight straight up to the top of your abdominal muscle, and we're going to get 12 of these. Right? Once you've got your 12, we're going to lay back on our bench, or on the ground, or your exercise ball, whatever you got at home. And we're going to do our skull crushers. And these are 16 each arm, so depending on how much time you got, you can do them one at a time, or you can do them together. Just make sure you get 16 each arm. All right. So, final back. Actually, that was our final back and tries. <laughs> so now we're going to move into legs and shoulders. And actually, I kind of switched this up from what I have done in my other classes. And this is going to be more shoulders and legs. And you'll see kind of what I mean. So, to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to do the shoulder press. So, you're just going to stand. You want to have your hips extended. Weight up. And you're going to press that weight up. And we're going to get 12 of these. Once you get your 12... You can either rest the weight right here on your shoulders or bring them down to your side. 
Either way, we're going down for 12 squats. You want that extra burn, you don't have to lock it at the top. You can do more of a pulse. Okay, just get them for 16. So 12 shoulder press, 16 squats. All right. Next, we're going to go to the... We're going to do the dumbbell row, dumbbell shoulder row. Right? So you want to have your arms out a little bit wider than your hips. And you're going to pull the weight straight up. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders engaged. That's what we're working here is our shoulders. We're going to get 12 on those. Then you want to bring your feet within hip width apart. And we're going to go straight leg deadlift. Might want to pick a spot in front of you to keep your eye on. So your head's up. Keep your back straight. Just go far enough you feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Right back up. Get them done. 16. Have some fun with it. We're rounding near the end here, huh? So, last shoulders and legs. We're going to go back to the shoulder press. But we're just going to make it a little bit uh, funner this time. A little more uh, engaging. And plus then we're going to feel like Arnold on this, huh? And we're going to do the Arnold press. Right here in front of you. Out and up. And you guessed it, we're doing this for 12. Have fun with it, go heavy, do what you can. Don't hurt yourself, be safe, but push it. Have fun with it, huh? Then we're gonna finish up with our lunges. You wanna keep your shoulder blades retracted, nice upright posture, just go down and get your lunges. If you need to, you can take a staggered stance and just drop down and get eight, switch, and then get eight more, or you can walk them out. Just make sure you get eight each leg, 16 total. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that section, huh? So now we get to finish up with core. That was our warm up. Now we're ready to put in the work. So for our core, what we are going to do, sorry, I have to check my notes, guys. We're gonna do the V up crunch. Uh, this one's kind of fun if you've got an exercise ball as well. I'm going to show you modification for that. Just to kind of make it a little bit harder. Have fun. So, let's say you don't have an exercise ball, right? You're just going to start. Hope you guys can see me. Pretty good right there. You're going to start flat on the ground. And we're going to come up and meet. Right? The V crunch. You're going to do that for 12. Now, if you do have an exercise ball and you want to step it up a little bit, you can do, it's the ball transfer. So you're going to go up, transfer the ball, back down. For 12. Okay. Then we're going to do some toe kicks. These are one of my favorites. Uh, and you can do them flat on the ground, or if you have a bench, I'll show you, you'll get a little bit extra core engagement, I think, on the bench. But if you have the floor, fine, just as effective, you'll get it. So, so what we're going to do is you're going to want to be kind of up where your abs are engaged, right? Bring your feet up, and we're going to kick. And if you can, put your hands out and just hold, point, point your toes towards the opposing wall, huh? And just kick, and we're gonna do this timed. It's not about how many you can get. Time yourself. Maybe start off with 15 seconds, try that. Then move it up to 30, 45, minute, if you get crazy. Whatever you can do, just time that one and progress along, adding more time. Then when you get done with those two, we're gonna flip over and we're gonna do everybody's favorite. We're gonna go into planks. Okay, for one minute, or however long you can get trying to build up to the minute. If you need to, you can do them in the push-up stance. Just make sure you get nice and straight and hold it. And when you're ready, once you can get a minute like that, drop down to your elbows. Right? You're going to do the entire core segment three times through, 
And uh, have fun with it, everybody. Stay healthy. We're going to get through these times, and uh, we'll get back to the gym, huh? Back to our group fitness class. Can't wait to see you guys all there. Enjoy this uh, supersets. This is supersets number four. I'll uh, keep trying to come up with more for you. Have an awesome Easter, everybody.